factors influencing the decision to return to a hotel or hotel by frequent travelers. What is what is influencing these people? Don't go to the others, please. No, really, how much? What is influencing a frequent international traveler to return to a place? Number one, to return. So well, you have uh, it's supposed to be. Uh, well, how it also is, I mean, the, the cleanliness. The cleanliness, thank you. Absolutely, first. You remember the percentage yes. about? Yes, uh, it's about, I don't know, maybe. You remember it's very high. Yeah, it was 60 percent. About 60 percent. Excellent. Tell me, what is, what is the second, you know, influence? The second was uh, maybe the service of the hotel. Exactly. The, well, the personal hotel. The third, uh, is cleanness why you would return the service well, cleanness and uh, the service of your facility facilities thank you very much yes please go ahead please <laughs> <laughs> excellent what is meant uh, or what kind of room is what? What kind of room is what? What, what do you mean by that? Well, what kind of room is that? Well, okay, first of all, don't kill my uh, questions, okay? Let's go from the small to the bigger one. Well, the normal room, uh, the, uh, the difference between the room is uh, on the no, bed times. What? Oh, what is what? There's what? room suites. What? G-U-A-A. What is quad? Yes, what's quad? <laughs> oh, I see. I thought you said what? Uh, quad is uh, two double beds, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, these expressions uh, are on the uh, type of the beds in the rooms and in the on type of the suites, maybe. But well, I have no idea what quad is. <laughs> Thank you very much for the question. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yes, my name is Barbara. Uh, Barbara. Uh, next question. What is influencing travelers, international frequent travelers, for the first time to choose a hotel? For the first time, what would you say? Uh, first of all, uh, the location of the hotel. Uh, because of convenience. Very good. Um, and um, there is uh, a cleanliness appearance of the hotel and the good facilities. The third one for the first time? Uh, the third one um, is. Facilities are there, but that's not the third. Uh, the third, the prices. Yeah, somebody was. Somebody <laughs> it is. Okay, thank you very much. It's a very good answer. Next question. How would you uh, define in the travel and tourist industry, in the travel and tourism industry, you remember the diagram, what type uh, of uh, operations are? At least that was the third uh, question. There are the uh, lodging operations. Very good. Transportation services, food and beverage operations, uh, retail stores, and activities. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, how was your test? Oh, you don't want to speak about it. <laughs> you okay, okay, don't want to speak about that. Thank you very much for your contribution. Do you have any questions? Do you have any good question? <laughs> well done. Okay, next time, gotcha. Sylvia, and your family name? Sylvia. Sylvia, uh, I have a lovely question for you, especially you did. Who is in rank under the general manager? Uh, the deputy manager? I yeah, deputy manager. Uh, yes. Uh, Even though the charts we have.
general manager assistant. Executive assistant general manager. Who is uh, reporting to the food and beverage manager? Give me some examples. Who is reporting to the food and beverage manager? Chief of the kitchen. Very good. Uh, the head waiter. Head waiter, yes. Uh, the one who has the control over the bar. Oh, that is done. Excellent. Okay, that's enough. And can you tell us something? Who is reporting to the room station manager? Uh, the housekeepers. Very really good. The housekeepers. Executive housekeeper. Yeah. Probably the people from the maintenance. Maintenance? No, not really, not really. What are we learning in the first half? Front office operation. And what about the front office manager? Oh yes, he is reporting it. If, uh, if the guests are in or out and if they, they can... Front office them. manager is reporting to the cruise manager. That's fine. Do you have any questions for the? Not really. Okay, then thank you for your contribution. Uh, good morning. <laughs> May I ask your name? <laughs> My name is Domovic. Mm -hmm. uh, Domovic. I have a very important <laughs> question for you. Yeah. Yeah. You know that question, that's why you know Domovic. Yes. In a hotel, the biggest part of the revenue, where does it come from? The biggest part of the revenue in a hotel, I think, probably comes from the room service or the room department. So the rooms. They are sent the hotel send the room, and that's where the main. Hotel send the room. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the room division. That's yeah, the room division. Do you remember, you know, the whole income, the whole profit, the percentage, what percentage is coming from the rooms division in most of the big hotels? I think around 55 or 60 percent. Even more. Even more. Yeah, even more. I meant even more than 60 percent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I interrupt you, sorry. Do you have any questions to you? Oh, what's the second biggest? <laughs> Thank you for your help. Very, very, a very good question. I was expecting that. Very <laughs> good. I think the food and beverage department is the second biggest revenue. Probably. Excellent. Around 40%. Thank you for your contribution. Yes, my name is Julian Akali. Julian, if I may call you What is an occupied room? So we are speaking now about the room status definitions. So only from the room status side, the occupied room. An occupied room means that the room is sold, which means uh, if it is paid in advance or not, but it is reserved. Actually, occupied, reserved. You know reserved, the uh, guest is staying in the room. In the room, in the house. Well, what is the room status if you have the word complementary? Do you remember the word complimentary? Yes. The um, room is uh, going to be prepared to be ready to be sold. I would totally agree with that. Complimentary, the word, what does it mean? Just explain to me which one has been complimentary. Free of charge. Complimentary means free of charge. Okay? Now, third one, what does it mean that there is a late checkout, room status, late checkout? A late checkout, that uh, there is an exact time when the guest must leave the room. But if uh, he cannot or he would not like, then he has to go to the front office and uh, ask and speak to the receptionist that uh, he would like to stay longer or uh, 
can you speak to each and then how can it be done? Great. Do you have any question for the nice for friends? What does it seem to you? Yeah, that's a very good question. Thank you very much. Uh, single Room is a room with uh, one bed, and uh, so one person can stay in this room. Thank you very much for your call. Oh. What's your name? Uh, my name is Balaj Santana. I would like to ask a couple of lovely questions, as usual. Uh, from the room status definition still, what does it mean? Skipper. Skipper. Helping you out. Helping you out. The guest is not, not so willing to pay. But, uh... When the guest deliberately goes out, deliberately goes out, we try to pay the room skipper. Right. And what does it mean? Uh, do not disturb sign. Do not disturb. Who is it? Do not disturb. Uh, that uh, the, the guest is in the room. Or probably yes. or the guest or a, a person from maintenance. Mm -hmm. and, okay. and not out of order. But do not disturb. Yes. When you go there and there is a do not disturb sign on the door outside. And the guest room. And that's the room status definition as well. Uh, that that uh, person from the hotel can or or if anybody else can't uh, go in the room uh, for well, until the, the um, this um, red writing is on the, the sign is there. The sign is there. That's right. That's good. Do you have a good question? It's not going to read. Okay. Size. The size. Good question. Uh, Classification. Mm -hmm. okay. um, hotels are um, classified by the size um, from zero to 150 beds, from 150 to 299, from 300 to 600, and from 600 and above. Thank you for the answer. It would be lovely to work in a hotel where they have zero rules. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution. Good morning. Can I ask your name? My name is Christina Gerhardt. It's a very famous name, actually, Gerhardt. I know. I know as well. Uh, from the guest registration, you remember that what information typical should be on a guest registration card? Do you understand the question? Yes. Yeah. And um, um, there should be uh, the guest name and uh, the nationality, um, the departure and the arrival time, and uh, also the way we are paying, of payment, and um, maybe he's over special requests. Um, Very good. And the signature. Very good. Excellent. Do you have any questions to her? What is the double room? I don't know. Nice one. And the double room is a um, room for two persons. There, um, there, uh, there is a double room and or maybe one more, a sofa. Do you have any other questions? No, then thank you very much for your presentation. What does it mean? Can you explain to us a corporate rate?
slide and I give you another question. Uh, do you remember what does it mean, American plan? American plan means a uh, uh, full board service, which uh, contains uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and of course accommodation. Can you describe us what does it mean a credit card imprinter? Imprinter. Credit card imprinter. Or after that, you can explain what a magnetic strip reader is. Magnetic strip reader. When, uh, uh, it's a kind of machine where you have to put the credit card like this. <laughs> <laughs> She loves it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put it at any time. Yeah. Why do you put it? If uh, you would like to check it. Check it. Okay. Do you have any question? A good question, please. Yeah. What is a connecting room? Um, for example, it is used when a family goes to a holiday and the, the parents have uh, children and they would like to. And have separate rooms, but uh, with a door, for example, between them, or with a wall between these two door. rooms. Door or wall between them? Door. That makes a difference, right? Thank you very much.